cocked up already. Never mind, we'll touch that in. Question for you. Chalk paint. Have you used it? Have you tried chalk paint before? Give us some comments, give us some feedback, what you think of chalk paint. There's different brands out there. There's a few different um, companies making chalk paint at the moment. Have you tried one of them? Give us some feedback, what you think of chalk paint. Give us the comments just below. While you're smashing that like button, you might even feel like pressing that give thanks button as well. But while you're doing all that, give us some comments what you think of chalk paint. Is this the best chalk paint? Have you used a chalk paint that's better than this? Because keep watching, you're going to see how I paint a door. Just like this. In chalk paint. Catch you in a minute. Welcome fellow painters and decorators of the interweb. This is Phil Beckwith, your professional painter and decorator of YouTube. Right, you've seen that thumbnail. What do you think? We've got to try it out, haven't we? Yeah, we've got to try it out. Just walking around Aldi, saw this paint. I thought, I've got to try that paint out. Aldi, at the moment, I've got the, let's call it Deco. Let's call it Deco. Got the chalk paint on offer. It's down to 3 99 for a 750. It's not quite a litre. It's a 750 can, 750ml can. It's chalk paint. You're going to say, what's chalk paint? Well, I'm going to say chalk paint is going to be a dry, flat, matte finish. Now, this is really popular at the moment. It's popular with um, people that do DIY flipping of furniture, but it's also quite popular. I'm not saying this brand, but a flat finish in um, private houses. Now, we do eggshell finish, which is quite a flat finish, but this, I'm expecting a, a chalky paint to be even flatter. Now, I'm hoping it's not going to be chalky, as in cheap contract matte paint that is very very flower and water I don't think it's going to be like that but this video is going to be really interesting because we've got Doris the door da, 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 Doris the door we're going to try the chalk paint on Doris the door because as you know I like reading the back of the cans what does this paint do? Let's read it so you don't have to go and pick up a can and read it yourself. Right, the Deco Style range provides the perfect solution for all your home decorating and DIY needs. DIY needs! This is just up your street. If you're a DIYer, I want to use a paint that's going to be a flat finish and apparently easy to, easy to apply. Right, from paint brushes and rollers to the full range of paints and varnishes, our high quality products help achieve professional results every time. So let's put it this way, Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator, if he can't get a cracking result with this, I might as well go back to college. Might as well go back to painting school. That advanced craft city and gills will be wasted if I cannot get this paint on Doris the door and get, a well, there again, let's say it. What standard do they put their professional thing? <laughs> what standard do they put? Yeah, right. let's read you a bit more. It's cut. <laughs> we'll cut there. Sorry about that. I had to come back, have a laugh in the garage, and come back with a straight face. Right, kind of focus on this. Good laugh. Right, what we've got to do with this? What does it say? Application. Right, we've got application. How to apply brush and roller and then we've got um, all the bits and pieces so I'll just go through this so you know what this paint's going to be like because it's decorative paint for furniture walls and special effects classic matte finish so this is where I say a chalky finish is it a chalky finish is it like a farrow ball a state emulsion a state eggshell where it's drier quite possibly well if it is let's see if it's as good as farrow and ball because Farron Balls, 750, 
could be 20, 25 quid a tin. Right, classic matte finish, easy to apply. Yeah, we've joked about that. Where I have to go off the mat, right? Right, how to apply? Right, application. For added decorative designs to various... Oh, let's read the back of the can again. For adding decorative design to various indoor surfaces such as tables, chairs, chest of drawers, etc. No mention of Doris, but the principle will be the same. Suitable for wood, brick, stone, plaster, metal, but you've got to be all appropriately primed solid substrates. So make sure you've got your surface, your substrate, because that's what it means, surface, primed prior to putting this on. And it might be a case, if it's um, on your walls, just a coat of thin down emulsion, just to get that surface an even finish. Wood work the same, don't do it on bare uh, wood. Put a coat of primer on it first, and then work with that. Use your common sense. Right, I'm gonna be doing it as it says on the tin. I'm going to give it one coat, let it dry, says about an hour, and then I'll give it two coats for the second top coat. Now, Doris the door currently is coated in various different paints, and if you want to see the paints that have been testing over these last few weeks, months, depending on when you're watching this, there'll be a link over my shoulder just there to product testing. Now, we've tried the Isomat, we've tried, um, you, might have, you might be coming up against the Dulux ones, I've got Dulux ones coming through, um, Ticarilla, We've got various paints like that that we've tried. Even French Chic's been tested on Doris the Door. So this will be interesting to see what this is like. Now my plan is I've got two tins. I've got a charcoal and I've got a cream. Now I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a fancy door. I'm gonna do the inner panels, the moldings and inner panels of Doris the Door in the cream. And then I'm gonna take in the rails, the styles. The styles are on the side. I've got the rail. Um, I've got the uh, picture rail up at the top, I've got the mullion rails. I'm going to do all these rails and styles and latch rails and the kick rail at the bottom and top rail, bottom rail. If you want another video on what all the components of a door are and the sequence that you paint them, there's a link just in that corner. But I'm going to do a cream inner and then the outside's going to be in the charcoal. Let's see what it looks like because going forward, while I'm doing testing of paint, on these um, on Doris the door having a mix of colors might be quite interesting to see how paints cover so that's why I'm going to do it right enough talking we're probably six minutes into talking I've given you a bit of history on this 399 down from 599 that's what it is if anybody's um, forgotten I'm going to go with the cream in the panels now I'm going to mix it up I'm going to give it a shake I'm going to shake it like a Polaroid I'm going to shake it I've got my mixing stick and again, recently been testing brushes, but when I'm doing painting on Doris the door, I'm keeping with the same brush. Now this is the Wix brush, pack of three is about 11 pound. You get an inch, an inch and a half, and uh, a two inch. And these are really nice bristle. I've mentioned these in, if you want to watch <sighs> paint brushes. Cheap versus expensive. I've got a few um, brushes there that you can see the Arrowworthy and then the little set. But this is what I use for testing paint out. So every paint's being tested with the same brush. And this is a really nice brush. I use this as a professional painter and decorator. Um, not every day because I like my Arrowworthies, but this is a brush that we do use. So enough talking about that. I'm going to open this, get it mixed up. I've already rubbed down Doris the door and dusted off, so it's a clean surface to work on. And um, once I get the paint out, and again, I've not got a paint kettle here, because I'll work out the tin so you can see that I'm actually using this um, paint. If I can find a paint kettle in my workshop that's um, suitable to use, I will do. But failing that, catch you in a minute. I've got a bit of a paint kettle. One of the, um, well, they were the EcoEase paper mache paint kettles. I might just put the, the tin in that just to steady it for me. But first impressions, I've opened the can, I've mixed it up. Feels very thin, doesn't feel very thick. So it'll be interesting to know what the coverage stroke capacity is gonna be like with this. And yeah, I mean, somebody's mixed, um, picked up on when I say about coverage and opacity. Coverage is how far a paint will go, but opacity is how, let's call it, 
layman's terms, how thick it is for actually covering the surface for how much you need to get something to cover. So, so if I'm trying to say coverage in opacity, you probably will realise that I'm trying to explain the same thing in one. It's how well it's covering over a surface, not so much how far the coverage goes i.e. if a litre tin does, I don't know, 15 square metres, I'm not trying to explain it for the coverage like that, I'm explaining it for the coverage of how it covers, i.e. opacity on the surface. But enough of that, I'm going to get this coated up, I'm going to do the, the mouldings and the panels first, knocking off the fatty edges for the heel with the heel of the brush, but you'll see, and um, I'll fast forward it. So, see you in a second. Away we go. It's very thin to apply. There we have it, that's the first coat gone on. I'm gonna say very thin, very easy to apply, very thin. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. So, um, with this being water-based, drying time's about an hour, probably be dry quicker than that. We've, the UK's got cracking weather at the minute, this will dry probably in half an hour. But um, I think it just say, recoat time's about an hour on the back, let's just check. No, let's say water washable. Apply two coats, likely sand between coats. Um, second coat, once first dry, um, first coat is dried, approximately an hour. And then um, once it's completely dry, depending on humidity, 24 hours, That's like most paints. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna subject you to a second coat of that. I'm gonna wait for that to dry. I'm gonna turn camera off. I'll let that dry, give it a second coat, then come back to you and we'll start with the charcoal grey and we'll see what that's like. Hopefully I'd expect charcoal grey to cover quite nicely. But I'm gonna say the word coverage stroke opacity. At the moment, the opacity stroke coverage for me is quite poor. That's going over isomat. We've got isomat eggshell, we've got isomat gloss and we've got isomat satin. So actually, that's a really good base to work over because if you were coming into somebody's house to be doing it on woodwork you probably would be going over a decent base they're decent bases all been water based let's see i'll come back let's discuss second coat's gone on i have to say it actually went on quite nice brushed out nicely coverage opacity a little bit grinny. If you don't know what I mean by grinny, you can just see through it slightly, opacity. So when it was covering for the opacity, certain areas that might be a little bit darker didn't cover so well, i.e. the opacity wasn't there. But on the whole, generally, those areas have covered quite nicely. As a professional, I'd say you'd give it an extra coat just to give it that third coat, even though it says two. But that by the by, I'm getting out the charcoal colour and we'll crack on with the sides and we'll make a bit of a feature of this door. Now, I don't want to say first impressions because I'll do a bit of a recap on all of it, but that to me feels almost like a matte emulsion. It's probably harder wearing because it's ideal for furniture than matte emulsion, but when we say about a chalky finish, that is probably a matte emulsion sort of finish. But that said, lots of people like that and it's an effect that's very popular at the moment. And um, let's say Aldi 
I've cottoned onto that and they've got some paints under their brand of Deco. I'm going to call it Deco. Deco style. Let's get on with this. Cocked up already. Never mind, we'll touch that in. It's a good job I didn't have a drink last night, getting them straight lines, or I'll say straight as I can possibly get with the first coat. What's my thoughts? It actually went on all right, as you'd expect. A dark charcoal stroke black colour will cover. Messed up there, didn't I? Can you see that? Can you see that? My hand wavered. It wavered. I caught the um, cream colour. Not to worry, I'll touch that up. I'll give it a couple of coats, touch it up after I've finished. But on the whole, I'm gonna say that's not gone on bad. It's a very dry finish. It's dried very quickly. Hence why you saw me just go around a couple of these edges up there, just to neaten them up. Now your first coat, when you're doing this contrast of colours, trying to cut in, can be very tricky. But when you come to the second coat, you can neaten them up a little bit better. So don't worry if your first coat and cutting in is a little bit wavy. Your second coat, once you know where you're going, because you can see the contrast of the two colours, you can neaten it up, and that's what I'll do on the second coat. But first impressions, not covered bad. A little bit of brush mark coming through, which you'd expect, because you've got a light colour with a dark. Second coat, that'll go. The effect of done, not bad at all, is it? I quite like that. Two tone lock. Let's go from top to bottom. Quite effective. It's a very dry finish. Almost, it's not quite chalk, blackboard paint, but it's, it's, it's a dry finish and it dries quickly as well. Being water-based in this warm air, it is, it is actually drying quite nicely. But I'll give it an hour, I'll come back, give it a second coat, then we'll do the conclusion and review. But so far, so good. I'm a bit surprised. I'll say I'm a bit surprised. It's not bad, not bad. See you in a bit. Welcome back, chillins. You painters and decorators of the interweb. Um, unfortunately, I got that final coat on the black, the charcoal. And um, while it was drying, all looked good. But then what happened? You know, I was saying we've had some lovely weather in the UK. Typical UK weather. <sighs> Heaven's opened. So I had to quickly bring the door inside. Inside me, garage, stroke, workshop, stroke, storeroom. Because at the minute it's um, full of stuff. Um, but it didn't matter because I've got the second coat on the black. And all I need to do now is do the conclusion of what this chalk paints like well what shall i say 
I asked at the beginning, is this the best chalk paint? Have you used chalk paint and been really satisfied with it and um, got good results? It's a bit of a funny paint, isn't it, chalk paint? Because this black, the cutting in's not too bad, so it was freehand on a, a sampled ore. I've not done too bad with it. Let's bring you down. All the way down, look. All the way down. Not done too bad. It was to give you the effect more than anything else. But charcoal. What colour? If I say charcoal colour, what colour do you think of when I say charcoal? Well, I must say that's a proper charcoal black. Quite impressed. So charcoal black. Conclusion on that. Went on lovely. First coat covered really well, as you'd expect black to cover really well. Second coat went on fine and cut it in these beads around the tops and the sides of the mouldings. Second time round it's easier to cut in because you can see where you've gone before and whether it's been straight or not you can neatly top. That's fine. But it's a chalk paint. What do we expect with chalk paint? It's going to be dry because it's like a flat matte emulsion. Black's not an easy paint to put on it. <laughs> Anyway, but well look at this, my hands are clean. If you can see that on the surface, and you probably can't, my fingers are polishing up that black. That is something I'd expect. Let's see if I can zoom you in. I probably won't. Well, that's probably about it. I'll bring you a bit closer. Yeah, you might be able to see that. Let me put my paint down. You might be able to see that. Can you see that where I'm polishing it with my fingers? It marks really easy. And you can just see it starting to polish the surface. Now, wouldn't you expect that with a, a matte flat paint? Of course you would. So that's nothing unusual. Is it hard wearing? It probably is hard wearing if you don't touch it, because that is polishing it up. Even me lifting this door into place is giving me polish marks. So black's not a good it's not a good colour, is it, in a flat paint, particularly being chalky. So that's my negative. Yes, it went on great. Brush is washed out, lovely. Would I want to use that on any furniture that's going to be people touching it? Probably not, no. Right, let's go on to the cream. Now the cream, right, I've said earlier, coverage, opacity. How that covered over the white, and when I use the word cover, I'm meaning opacity. How that covered over the white, I was a bit disappointed with for that first for that first coat. The second coat did go on better, but there was still that little bit of a grinning, and the coverage stroke opacity wasn't there. And there's certain areas of this door, you can't see it because we've been probably blinded by the light that I've got. Oh, they're not they've not covered very well particularly where a cock top you'll see at the beginning a cock top with the with the black I caught the cream not to worry I touched it back up now I've given that touch up a couple of coats and I'm still seeing it just round that edges there I'm looking at the screen above the lens so I'm not looking at you I can actually see that it's not covered brilliant it would need another coat so the cream Three coats will probably give that a really good coverage. It looks good. It's dry. It's what you would class as a chalk paint. Would I want it on anything? Possibly not. Where would it be good? Probably ceilings. Ceilings and freeze areas that you've got nobody touching it. Because this isn't something you want anybody touching it with a dirty hand or marking it. You might get away with it on furniture. I can hear people shouting at me, put a varnish over it. Well that defeats the object of having a chalky paint if you're going to put a wax or a varnish over it because the whole point of a paint like this is it for it to have that chalky effect. This is very similar to using Farron Ball's um, Estate Emulsion. People moan about that because it marks easy. This is the same sort of principle. It's going to mark easy. If you were using this on walls, it would be very good for hiding uneven surfaces because you know how I've said before, silk soft sheens, glosses are very critical if you've got a surface that's not very smooth. A flat matte paint 
can disguise a multitude of sins. Is this suitable for walls? Yes. Is it suitable for ceilings? Yes. Is it suitable for woodwork? Yes. So long as it's not a high traffic area where people could be brushing up against clothes, touching it with the fingers. So for 399, if you're doing a bit of DIY makeover furniture flipping and you want to use this, feel free. It's, it's, it's a nice paint. As a professional, would I want to be using it? No, because the comeback from the customer saying to me, it marks easy. There's better paints out there that cost a bit more, that would be more hard wearing and resilient to day-to-day -to -day use. If you are painting something like a vase or a bowl that you're not gonna to be touching it, give it a go. But for actually a painter and decorator, fill back with the professional painter and decorator painting a door. This, this is a bit unusual. We're not really going to be painting a door like this to actually get this sort of finish on a high traffic area stroke a door where people are touching it. You can give it a go. I'm going to give it, let's give it out to 10. What would I give it? As a paint, a good six. I don't want to say a seven. I'll say a good six. It's not bad. It's not great. It's middle of the road being a little bit better. For your application, it's very good and I'd only got that cheap but it's down there it's washed out lovely I'd only got that cheap Wix brush you know the pack of three 11 quid yeah that's all I was using went on lovely but would you want to use it on any door frames doors skirting probably not entirely up to you another thing I'll pick up on you can't probably see it on the camera I've got a little bit of I'll call it milkiness. On the black, it just looks like, it's not flashing, it's not grinning. You can just see a slight brush mark that's a little bit of a different color to what you're expecting it to be applied. That don't make sense. I'm putting a black on, but on some of the brush strokes, it looks like it's a paler black, like a, a gray black. Now, is that because of the way the paint is? I'm not sure. It might be the chalkiness. I'm not sure. but as a charcoal good black but you can actually just see I'll call it flashing it's flashing of a different color even though it's the same paint but on the plus side is you don't see brush marks you can get away with putting it on ev every way you want to you're not seeing brush marks and that's the advantage of using a matte paint over a satin or a, um, a soft sheen sort of finished paint that can be very critical showing your brush marks up but as a flat paint, yeah, it's great. Would I be wanting to use it in the future? No. Is it the best chalk paint? I'm not sure. I don't use a lot of chalk paint. French Chic do a chalk paint. Other companies do a chalk paint. Is there better chalk paints that don't do this? I don't know. Give us some comments. While you're down there, subscribe if you've not already done. If you press that bell, you'll get notifications for the next videos. Comments. I like people commenting. Give us some tips to use this give us some ideas on where you've used it and you've had success would this be better sprayed it will probably spray very nice would it be better rolled quite possibly brushing it it's not a problem and I quite like the effect that I've done with two-tone don't want to do that too often I don't think it's fashionable at the minute I'm not sure is it fashionable or not you tell me but I've gave it a go Deco style chalk paint from Aldi on offer at the moment, 3 dollars and we're at the beginning of September 2022. Paints don't change, but there again on the back it does say that best before, there's a best before date, not that I'm eating it or drinking it, do I have to keep it in the fridge? Don't know, on that note I'm going to say goodbye, I'm going to put it in the fridge so it lasts longer. There might be a video.